Hi everyone, here I am doing uh, the last video of uh, dilution uh, topic 13 so uh, always something happened here okay so dilution factors um, often the reason that we are doing dilution is because the concentration of the stock which is the old concentration if one not really helps us here okay the concentration of stock is very high and so it's too concentrated and we have to do several dilution we have to do dilution in order to reduce it and because it's too concentrated I need to do a high dilution it's hard and not practical not accurate to do high dilution all once so we do it several so maybe instead of one over million I do 1 over 100, multiple 1 over 100, multiple 1 over 100, means I do 3 dilution. So what I did so far was new concentration. So we, we found the formula. New concentration if is old concentration, multiple dilution ratio total dilution ratio total dilution ratio okay so this is what we did so far and total dilution ratio was a fraction so because it was old concentration divided by a number because total dilution ratio is fraction and it's multiple multiple multiplication of all dilutions so I I could have new concentration reduce one okay so now we want to have another formula which is not really needed so you can use the, the this formula for that as well you can use this one as well okay so but we can have this formula the new one as well so I, I'm going to explain dilution factor dilution factor is reciprocal of total dilution so you need to find total dilution and then do reciprocal of that okay so here for example example 12 so I'm not sure if I can zoom in and it helps me see it's not really I don't know why it's um, so many technical problems we have and it's very hard for us okay so from original example regarding serial dilutions so it was determined that the total dilution is that so I had two dilution one of them one over hundred one of them one over thousand so I multiple them I have one over hundred thousand total this is total dilution ratio okay that's total dilution ratio total dilution ratio now if I receive if I do reciprocal okay dilution factor is 1 over total dilution ratio okay so now I want to make a new formula which you can use the old formula in order to to find a new one okay so new concentration is old concentration multiple total dilution ratio now I divide both sides with total dilution ratio so it is new concentration divided by total dilution ratio equal old concentration okay what do I have for 1 over total dilution ratio 1 over total dilution ratio is dilution factor okay which I said the reciprocal okay so I can say now I can make a new formula which is old concentration is one side and the other side is new concentration multiple dilution factor and remember dilution factor is total dilution ratio reciprocal of that reciprocal of total dilution ratio okay so I had this formula beginning 
which was new concentration one side and the other side two others all concentration multiple total dilution ratio and now I have all concentration one side the other side new concentration multiple dilution factor but it's I found the blue one from the yellow one so it's not really new thing okay so just maybe if we ask you what is dilution factor what is total dilution ratio okay so a highly concentrated culture of bacterial was serially diluted for three times read the question carefully three times so the number of cells at the end for final solution this means new concentration is 3.2 multiple 10 multiple hundred cells per milliliter see when I zoom in all of a sudden everything will go you, you know um, so crazy yeah okay so I want to find the uh, concentration of uh, original so I want to find original concentration old concentration okay so I can say based on the formula here okay so total dilution ratio total dilution ratio is 1 over 100 multiple 1 over 100 multiple 1 over 100 which is 1 over 10 power 6 but dilution factor is 1 over total dilution ratio which is 10 power 6 so I just flip it now old concentration is new concentration multiple dilution factor so new concentration is 3.2 multiple 10 power 2 cells per milliliter so maybe I can write the other just down in order to have all of them in one line okay so equal 3.2 multiple 10 power 2 cells per milliliter multiple 10 power 6 which is 3.2 multiple 10 power 8 cells per milliliter okay done so this was the original concentration this was uh, a stock solution concentration make sure to write the sentence okay how about here how many cells would be in 10 milliliter of a stock solution 10 milliliter so I want to go from 10 milliliter to number of cells of course I can do by proportion but I want to do it with uh, conversion okay so 10 milliliter I want to cancel and I want to go to number of number of cells so where do you write milliliter you have milliliter you want to cancel so you write 1 milliliter here 3.2 multiple 10 power 2 or 10 power 8 I use 10 power 8 because it's talking about a stock solution so 10 power 8 cells now this and this cancel and this is 3.2 multiple 10 power 9 cells okay so yes 1 milliliter has 3.2 multiple 10 power 8 of course 10 milliliter has um, has 3.2 multiple 10 power 9 cells okay so we are done here as you can see we have practice here one practice question two question and you can see them on one note you know you can go to one note anytime you have to click on the email that I send you I shared you the note at the beginning of the semester you have to find that email and go to one note and see all of these all of the notes here all of these questions they are very good questions you can see all the answers here and you can read all the answers that I have here this page has answered to practice questions so I answered all of them and I explained all of them okay so you can see everything here so 
I want you, I want to ask you to do it on your own. So go to the first lesson, dilution, and you see them, you don't see answer here. So do it on your own, and then go to that lesson and see the solution. There. Then you can see what was, so it's not really hard. It's not hard at all. So I am done with topic 13. I'm going to explain topic 14 later. Also, I have to talk about uh, Excel file and how to work there and something which is necessary from topic 18. And that's it. I appreciate your time. I appreciate the time you take to watch these videos. If you find any mistake, just let me know. And have a good day.